second location for the boat show is the convention center. So we're here today. Let's check out what they got. All right. So welcome to the 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show with the more affordable boats, guys. <laughs> so definitely more or speed. Uh, yellowfin right here. Um, a flats yellowfin. Beautiful fishing boat. I, I'm seeing a lot what I like, guys. Grady White. Oh man, let's clean up the lens. Yeah, look on this beauty. Guys, I think, I think we found our show. <laughs> wow. Just look on these boats, man. This is a 2022 model lineup for Grady White. They got the center consoles from an 18 straight down to a 456. They got 215 dual consoles straight down to a 375. This, yeah, I think this was more or speed. I mean, don't get me wrong, like super yachts are nice, but you know, your average everyday Joe, we can afford something in the 2022, 24 range, you know? Um, and what's funny is you don't see a lot of the YouTubers focusing on the convention center because it's not your super yachts. Uh, but this is more or speed. Like, look on this beautiful boat, this coastal edition of the Hurricane. Wow. Uh, it's a 185. Uh, let's see what we got. And this is what I mean. It's, it's 43,000. Oh, it's so old. That sucks. But yeah, they got some also sold. This is what I mean, guys. You know, you can find some good shows, good boats here at the boat show. Good prices. And of course, my favorite. Boom. I'm gonna make a separate video for this. Here we are. The Bayliner. This is the M17 hull. I already made a video on this. Um, boat show price should be about 28,000. Let's see. You use it all and then you just like, oh, I finally own it. 31. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be so expensive. Definitely shouldn't be that expensive. But yeah, we did the walkthrough on this boat. Um, yeah. This is the Bayliner M17. This is Mercury. Okay, so the plant is up in this. Yeah, we already did a video on this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. But as you guys already know, storage on the each seat. M17. I think what we're more interested in is the VR4. Bayliner. This is a VR5. Here it's four to seven. Uh, and this is already so long. Uh, we're interested in, no, this is already sold as well. Wow. Do they have any boats left? This is the DX2000. This is already sold. All of them are already sold. But let's see the VR4. If they have it, no, they don't. This is Chaparral. So, I don't think they have a VR4 here. Uh, I know they have a blue VR4, but it's not here. These are the trophies. This is a popular boat, and you know, I think this has a deep V. Yeah, this is. Such a beautiful look on that hall. It's a deep V. 
Bayliner really came through there with a lot of their boats. Well, it's intermarine, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boat. <sighs> We're happy. Intermarine, guys. Uh, you got a lot of storage back here on that one. So this, the layout on that I'm seeing has the, it has a co-captain seat on the VR5. This doesn't, or well, oh no, that's a flip. Well, you can move that backrest over to here. To so get the same type of, yeah, same okay. Type. The only this, difference with that seating is, uh, it's got a couple of different variations. You can, you can fold that back forward and look out the back or it goes all the way flat. So that's just all one big couch. Okay, okay. And the max this comes in is a what? Uh, 115. I think you get 115. 150. Yeah. I got to double check. I don't mean to be rude. I got to do, do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Like I was saying, these are the more number one selling debt boat brand in 2021. It's a StarCraft, right? So these are the more affordable boats. So I'm having so much more fun over this side because, like, these are boats that, you know, like, your average Joe can afford. So, you know, something under a hundred. Uh, this is where you want it to be. Sportsman, let's see what this is. And then there's so much less people over here. Well, this is 154, but you know, this is a beautiful boat. Um, like that's not out of reach. This is 171. Um, you are getting up there, but you know what I mean. Uh, Sailfish has some beautiful boats. But again, more so for my speed. Let's get back down into the under 100 category. This, again, a single 250 on it. Uh, what brand is this? This is Pro. This is always a Parker. Yeah, I know Parker is to be pilot hoses, but these are Parker offshore. So, yeah, I know Parker to be these type of pilot hoses where, you know, you have this is a pilot house where you have the housing for the pilot but those are parker offshores let's see one of these uh are going for okay i don't see a starting price but you know more doable and then of course you got the pontoon same starcraft uh that makes the deck boats which the deck boats are beautiful they're Pontoons are beautiful, but I'm just I'm just in love with this section, guys. So much less, or so many less people here, uh, and uh, the more affordable boats, the boats that you could actually go on and check out. But you know, yeah, that's my speed. So we just checked out this Pioneer. And uh, it's a DV. This is also a DV. Hull. This also DV hull. And these are affordable boats. So Bulls Bay. Yeah. 54,000 Bulls Bay. That's a brand that I need to look out look up because I've never seen this boat these boats before boats big um, of course the it's a 22 and this is a 200 and this 200 seems to be it has a bigger gunnel so, yeah and then over here we got some anglers beautiful boats aqua sports 106,000 for uh, Sea Hunt. Sea Hunt with 300 Yamaha outboard. Man, I've never seen so many boats in my life. I'm so overwhelmed, guys. This is the Contenders. Beautiful boats. Guys. The Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Holy crap. I've never seen this many boats in my life. Uh, and I mean, it's like 
everywhere that you turn are just all such beautiful boats. These are the Cobalt um, with Marine Connection. And uh, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm floored at how beautiful all of these boats are. It's like, it's like a kid in Candyland, you know? So yeah, journey with me, we'll just check out some more boats. Well, so this is the Edgewater and it is the 158 CX, CS, 158 CS. So it comes with a Yamaha 70 and uh, it has two fuel tanks, beaut beautiful stainless steel and uh, it's like the perfect little fishing boat if you just wanted to get out on the water. 34,000, uh, 34,000, got cleats and a, a fairly deep V. 158 so if you're just looking to get out this can actually hold six people um and then of course you know storage under each a cooler that can act as a seat for someone else uh yeah very simple very basic beautiful little boat versus you know this 116,000 dusky we went on a dusky in the bahamas yeah yeah guys so that was the fort lauderdale international boat show here at the convention center which is where the more affordable boats were uh to get here we had to take the water taxi the first part of the convention center was at the marina that's where the main show is that's where everything is here it was a lot more tame a lot more quiet uh but still this was where the, the life of the party was for me so hopefully you guys enjoyed those videos uh and uh, yeah i think i know which boat i want and uh just journey with us because it's gonna be a fun one boom <laughs>